Whoops. In my life. Oh, I'm live. Okay. Set up here. It's a squeaky little chair. So it might sound like I'm tooting. But yeah. Hi, bonus parents. Happy to have you here. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Lauren. Oh, it's my cousin. He made it. I was badgering my cousin to join. Love him. Aw, thanks, Steve, for joining on yours, too. Now we're waiting for Chrissy. Um, yeah, I'm doing a live. Ha. Aw, cuz you want to be in my video? In a second, we're gonna, um, I'm waiting for Chrissy to hop on. And then we'll do it. Actually, hold up. Why not? Here she is. Chrissy's here. But yeah, I do want to video chat with my cousin sometime. Here's Chrissy. Okay. And then, are you, are you ready to hop on? Let me see if I can request you. Oh, my other cousin. Wow, this is such a family and friend thing. It makes me so happy that you guys joined. Hi, Chrissy. All right, I gotta turn up my volume a bit. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. How's everybody doing this evening? Yeah, how are you guys doing? We, it's been an interesting week here. Um, I'll save the details for text <laughs> messages because I don't want to display everything. But um, I think pretty good. We started um, an email thread. Oh, yeah. Thirshna's doing great. We're, we're doing great too. We're going with the flow. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm operating out of a friend's fancy bathroom today. Um, oh, I, I, I wouldn't have said anything. No one would have known, but whatever. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So the email thing, um, we started something, a quick one where when you subscribe, you get Chrissy's check-in. And so the last video, we talked about it a little bit and it's more of an observational thing, like not really like you're in, not like a confession judgment kind of thing on yourself with. No, 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 a lot more laugh and just literally a check-in. Cause sometimes we get so busy, I know I do, like it's sometimes you get to the end of the day and you're like, oh my goodness, where did the day go? And then you're kind of like, did I get my fruits and vegetables in? How many glasses of water did I drink? Like, you don't even know by the end of the day. So it's just nice and, and kind of important to like kind of check in and go, okay, how did I do today? And what do I need to do maybe differently or adjust for tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. So that's what these Mondays are about, about because we have so many caregivers here and like you guys put kids, everybody first, and they need to be put first, but you also need to not forget about you because longevity and like the quality of life and your health really matters. Um, yeah. And we wanted to make it fun. Like health should be a celebration, yes. uh, not like a chore where you're like, ugh, about it. So yeah, it's, it's not whether you did or did not do something. It's just like, okay making that kind of mental awareness, kind of like you do with meditation, to take and kind of step it back and kind of just be an observer in your own life. Yeah, so. absolutely. Just that. Um, and so, so what we're doing is Chrissy, who's like, I love Chrissy. She's like a female version of Casey that like knows a lot and she's humble and kind about it and so she's going to be making a recipe and that's a vet going on but that's okay hope you didn't hear it if you did <laughs> sorry um um ah uh, there she says love that observer of your own life um, <laughs> and uh 
So Chrissy, every week she's going to make a recipe. And if you sign up for the email thing, when you message us, we'll email you the recipe in advance. So normally I paint with the spice, but today I'm going to do watercolors because we're going to be covering abundance and um, gratitude and stuff like that and compare it to food, right? Yeah. Oh, hi, Prakash. <laughs> I talked about you on my Diwali doodle live. People are wondering about my Sunday night Diwali lives or my Sunday night doodle sessions. I sort of nixed them because Chrissy and I are doing this Monday thing, but I feel like more people are asking about them again, so <laughs> I might have to start them again, but maybe in a couple weeks. Um, but in the meantime, let's do this and have fun. So I'm gonna turn this around and then Christy will, yeah, then we'll just start. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna be making a harvest apple tea today, you guys. And I have a couple different kinds of apples I can use today. So if you're in the chat, should I use the red one or should I use the green apple? Which one should I use today? Do you have an opinion? No? If not, I'm going to make my own. If nobody can decide which kind of apple, I'm going to go with our red apple. This is actually one of them I got from the farmer's market a few weeks ago. So you could read, ah, somebody did say red. So good choice, because I chose that too. All right. So the red apple is what I'm going to be using. But I'm only using this because of the fact that I don't have any apple scraps right now. So if I had like apple scraps, I could use apple scraps for this tea too, which is really great because it's a great like zero waste tea. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the apple into little pieces. And I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna strain out the apple and everything. And I could always like have it as a snack later. That's like a spiced apple snack. But I'm just cutting it into little pieces. And it's not important, the shape of them. I've just got some apples all set and chopped. I just chopped up that red apple. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in my pot. And then we're talking about warming spices for the fall and the winter. We want to make sure we're having warm spices because it's starting to get very, very cold outside, as you guys have probably noticed. And so I'm just going to add some cinnamon sticks to my apple tea. And then I'm going to be adding some star anise. Does everybody love star anise? I like it because the shape. It makes me think of Christmas with the stars and stuff as we're getting Aww. closer. It is really pretty. I, I feel yeah. like sometimes it's too intense for me. <laughs> yeah, I love anything anise flavored. And I love anything anise flavored because I know that it's so good for my gut and my digestion. So that's always awesome. And then you know me, like every tea we were doing recently is all going to have ginger in it. So I'm just going to give that a quick peel because I like to peel off the ginger skin because otherwise it has a tendency of being kind of bitter unless you get really, really young ginger. And I'm just going to go ahead and peel a little bit of that off of there because I don't want it to be bitter. And as you guys probably remember from past weeks, ginger is so good for our digestive system. Oh, you love anise? That's wonderful. Yeah, anise is a really great spice. And when you do a lot of ethnic cooking, you'll find that anise is used in a lot of different soups and stuff, which you wouldn't think of it being like savory, but um, it goes really, really well. Uh, if you're ever making pho, it has Gen it usually has ginger and it has cinnamon and it also has anise. So I've just got my ginger, my anise, and my cinnamon sticks, and I'm going to add six, not six, four cups of water. Four cups of water. So this tea's super easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the stove and I'm going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And the longer you let it simmer, the more the flavor is going to get concentrated. And if you didn't have 
fresh apples or apple peels, dried apple also makes a great apple tea as well. Oh, what are you drawing over there? Or painting, I should say. Um, I think a basket with fruit. Um, Uncle says he loves star anise. Yeah. I, I'm always afraid I say it wrong. <laughs> I think it's one of those things like everything, like ultimately people kind of have their own ways of pronouncing certain things. Aw, now that's all that matters. Aw, someone said Chrissy has a great way of looking at life when there's not a gleam of light. That's so true. That's why I love mm -hmm. collaborating with her. Well, I mean, like that's the thing that we're talking about today too, is finding those moments of gratitude. Because I mean, as as rough as this year has been, there there's been a lot of wonderful things. And that's kind of what we're, we're wanting to focus on tonight is the fact that ultimately we have a lot of to, to be grateful for. Yes, there's been a lot of hardships out of this year. But as we're coming to the close of 2020, one of the things we, we want to inspire you guys is to kind of look and say, what do I have to be grateful for? And it could be something as simple as, I woke up today and the sun was shining. Like that improves our mood so much. And so that's that's awesome. It's so true. And like it's like the little things even in like the winter months. Um yeah. to just do that. And like I'm not sure cuz we were at we just put together that email thing. So if you message us, we'd be happy to send it to you. Um, where we want to send Chrissy's recipes to you guys ahead of time. So yeah. then um, you could enjoy it with us. And normally, I like to paint with spices. But today, we're just watercoloring. And I guess yeah. I invented a green blue banana. I saw that. I was like, it's a green banana. And then you started at blue and I was like, maybe some pea powder like fell on it. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Cause like, it's so interesting too. Cause we we're earlier when Christy and I were chatting, we we're talking about like synchronicities and how, um, all of a sudden she's like zoom teaching. <laughs> Nick says quack. Nick. Um, <laughs> it's like and all of a sudden she has like all these zoom classes and we are literally just talking about abundance and how somehow it just trickles in your life and like the same way when we're getting all our vitamins and fruits and veggies um, we start benefiting from that yeah right yeah Yes, and in, in honor of what's going to be our next section, just a sneak peek of what we're going to be talking about in the coming weeks. Can everybody see the rainbow on my new cup? <laughs> Such a cute cup. <laughs> <laughs> so just a little hit of what might be coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you, when you give us our e your email, you'll know. You'll be in the loop. Um the check-in's really cool. I've gotten good feedback on your check-in. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, I did. I thought it was, like, gentle. More of a, a visual thing. So. Yeah. The, oh, so, so Jacqueline's saying that the, the colors in it make her heart smile with the Aww. painting. That's so fun. Here, here's the smile for you. <laughs> Aww. Thanks, Jacqueline. Um, but yeah, what we're going to talk more about this abundance thing. Yeah. Well, and I think it's important because we're, we're talking about abundance, but we're also getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. And when we're talking about Thanksgiving, we're, we're basically, we're celebrating the, the harvest. And what is our harvest for the year? It's all of the, the wonderful things and accomplishments that we've done for the year. Whether they be big or small things, like we've all gone through a lot of different changes this year. 
and really taking the time to acknowledge like how far we've come and like things that we skills that maybe we didn't have before like I know for me I had never zoomed before in 2020 and now I've done like 90 zoom cooking classes and I would have never thought that when I started to sit down and write my goals out in 2019 like, that would have never been something on my list yeah totally not and like we thought it'd be perfect because um we kind of just want to make these weeklies bite size so it's not overwhelming and applicable to your life so the first step is really um understanding and knowing um knowing how we generally behave and what we generally eat and just seeing how it affects us and you'd be so so surprised um i feel like yeah because like um, with me, I've had really, really crazy health problems and has, so has Chrissy. And like, we've kind of got over it the same way. And we've been talking so much that we're like, maybe we got to share what we've been learning and doing um, and healthy food and like watching what you eat doesn't have to be so bad because um, we have a lot happening because like, um, it's so funny. My love always <laughs> tells me about Pavlov's hierarchy of needs. Yeah, you guys so true. That? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And so the food water thing and just like basically eating three times a day, whether you have, um, whether you're seeing clients or anybody like making sure you have that and you do that because I feel like COVID's really taught us um, to that health really matters. Um, yes. Taking taking the time for ourselves. And I know you you talked about it in the beginning, Ami, about like the fact that like we have so many people who take care of other people. But if you think about the plane, you always put the face mask on yourself first because otherwise you won't be around for the other people. Yeah. So, it's really important to take that time for yourself and to really acknowledge that. And we were chatting the other week that ultimately taking care of yourself is the ultimate form of self-love. Yeah. So that's really important, especially as like we get to that time of year where as caretakers, you might be taking care of even more getting ready for the holidays and everything, even though it's going to look differently this year. Yeah absolutely like it doesn't and it doesn't have to be hard like they're just baby steps like yeah. baby steps like and it's totally possible so and we totally don't want to talk your ear off for like more than 20 to 30 <laughs> minutes um yeah, max max time so yeah yeah so is everybody taking time to practice gratitude as we're leading up drop me a heart in the chat if you guys are are taking time to practice gratitude as we're leading up to thanksgiving anybody practicing seeing gratitude i would give you hearts if i could <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i can yeah i definitely have yeah i i feel like sometimes that's the only thing to get us by like gratitude <laughs> Nick, <laughs> madame love you. would you like to bring the tea <laughs> you're so sweet i'll have it with you guys after i'm yeah i'm can definitely have tea. the best friends huh i said we can definitely have tea i've got my yeah i need to go for a little bit longer Oh, Logan said she's practicing gratitude. She dropped a heart in there. Aw, and so did my bonus parents. Oh, uh, it's always good to have bonus parents. That, that's true abundance. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it totally is. Like, um, and plus, too, practicing gratitude keeps us happy because, like, what is that thing we were talking about that one time about, like, 
how gratitude's like an antidote to like negative thinking and like yeah. um like it it helps us be happier and today a cool thing my friend Nick and I we were talking about is he was talking about um what were you we talking about the course in miracles and how in it like this little five minute coffee table book version and he was saying how you could either find a fault in a person or you could be happy like choosing or choosing between being right or being happy and I feel like health wise choosing happy is like more important than being right yes I, I, I have done that before when I feel like I'm getting into like an argument with somebody and it, it sometimes recently it's been hard, but like at other points I've been better about it and I will stop and I'll, I'll even have that thought go through my head on me where I go, am I wanting to be right or do I want to be happy? And that's so true. Yeah. Right. It, it totally changes things. Like it, yeah. it really does. Like when I was, um, teaching preschool before COVID like you you could like just see even like little kids just bringing home behavior and stuff from like parents and like they they'd like just want to be right or they'd like want to be heard um yeah. but instead it's just like um kind of showing them gratitude really yeah. really helps them and reminding them that it's about what they have and like with this it's about appreciating the health that we have and like when yeah. we don't have health um we really don't have anything yeah Jacqueline's saying she she really wants to choose happiness over kindness over being right and kids are our greatest teachers, which is true. It's yeah. very, very true. They are oh, really God. great teachers to us because they they have no filter and they really form their behaviors around what they see. They literally mimic and mirror our behavior. So if you're not liking something you see in a child, it's usually coming from somewhere that someone that they're around on an, a regular basis. It's not just out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. That's like a hundred percent. I totally agree with Jacqueline on that. Like they really are our greatest teachers. Like I, I miss teaching preschool because I feel like they taught me so much and like just the simpler things like they're not like it, it's just so amazing to see someone being like a policeman working with a doctor and all of a sudden there's a plumber <laughs> it's it's hilarious <laughs> and awesome because it's like status or anything doesn't mean anything to them but like friendship really does and then at the end of the day you kind of see with like how the world is happening that it is um like friendship I'm not exactly sure what this blue guy is. That's a really great example for us, too, because one of the things we wanted to talk to you guys about was when we're talking about abundance, um, a lot of times that is accepting compliments. And I feel like kids are great about that. If you tell them they're like, oh, you're so wonderful, they'll be like, thank you. As adults, yeah. if we hear that, we yeah. were like, oh, no, 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 not me. I, I'm nothing. But we kind of dispel that. And ultimately, by doing that, you're refusing that, that abundance and that compliment. And how does that make the other person feel when they're trying to give you a compliment and you won't take it? If you try to give somebody a gift and they like, no, 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 no. How do you, how does that make you feel? It doesn't make you feel good. <laughs> yeah, right? Like not receiving somebody. Yeah. Um, when they're trying to mean it. Yeah, like. I don't know what what would you guys be willing to share with what's abundant in your life or um what would you like more abundant of or 
if you guys even have <laughs> like an abundance of junk food um <laughs> how does that feel versus um an abundance of healthy eating like <laughs> right and like something else too Christy and I are pretty mindful about with health is we're not we don't like to see health as like taking away or like a diet like it's about adding so much nutrition to what you're eating that um maybe you have room for anything extra but it's like you're you're kind of adding yourself with nutrients and then we want you to experience how you feel with like eating healthy and actually getting all your nutrients because that makes a huge difference <laughs> tiki says i have an abundance <laughs> of company from steve these days steve is yeah, and, yeah, yeah. that has definitely <laughs> been a thing as of late we've definitely had more of an abundance of time with those we live with i i've definitely spent way more time <laughs> and more meals with dan and my cat maxine than I ever did before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maxine. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've got my apple tea here, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead. I've just got a little strainer. I'm going to strain some of it into my cup, my little mug. And I'm going to go ahead and strain the rest of it. And I'm going to put it in a mason jar because then I have it ready to go. And I can either drink it hot or cold tomorrow if I want. That's awesome. And that's such a great tip. And um, and so next week, too, before I forget, um, we, we're wanting to talk a little bit, just a tiny bit, about the rainbow. Right? <laughs> yes. We're going to be talking about the rainbow. Specifically, a color. Color. We're going to start with the color red. Yeah. And anybody who's followed me on Instagram probably knows I have a bit of an obsession with cranberries. So we're going to be doing a cranberry tea. Yeah. And... Oh, that, that okay. basket's looking beautiful. Aw, thank you. Yeah. Watercolors are so fun. Like... It's just like whatever you splatter, it kind of just does what it wants. Like, I thought we wanted to send 2020 off um, with a rainbow, like <laughs> with love and peace. Yeah. A rainbow of love. A rainbow of love. Yeah. Because 2020 was definitely a year of us opening our eyes to a lot of things and seeing all the colors of the rainbow yeah that's so true it is seeing all the colors of the rainbow yeah jean loves cranberries too <laughs> <laughs> they are an awesome fruit um yeah and plus when you get today too we we're talking about something interesting christy what was it that like each color gives us like nutrients for yeah. to benefit. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And we'll be covering all the different colors here very soon. I'm glad you think that sounds very exciting, Logan. Yeah, it is going to be exciting to go through all the different colors and what all they do for our bodies. Like I'm wearing orange today. And we were talking earlier today about orange being good for our eyes. And it actually could help us see better in the dark, which I did not know. I learned that today. <laughs> That is really awesome. Like, yeah, fun little facts like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It seems like it's been a little bit. So this painting seems complete and Chrissy's done with her tea. Sid, um, Sidley said. Oh. We, yes, there'll be one color each week and we will be starting up the new year in January. And we'll be finishing out the last color the first week of January, which is actually going to be, I know it's not a color, but it's white. 
because we need we get nutrients from white vegetables and fruits as well. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so true. And yeah. like, so we're taking and doing baby steps. And then um, by January, we'll cover a little more about like the emotional aspect of food. So yeah. yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this and, and message us so we could send you the check-in yeah. thing and you guys can get the tea in advance. And yes, that way you can enjoy it with me because I am enjoying my, my tea tonight, Jean. I am enjoying it in my new cup because it's got some rainbows on there. And it says, go forth and be awesome. So I want you guys to go forth and be awesome. Aw, <laughs> that's awesome. I think I'll paint rainbows and like people that participate and stuff, I'll give them away. So if okay. you, the more peep friends show up and just participate, like when do you ever get rewarded when you're investing in your health? I don't know, this chat. Every day. Every day <laughs> I'm rewarded for investing in my health. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you have an abundance of health and you can have you could just feel good about it. Like it makes such a huge difference. So that's why I'm so passionate about it. All right. Thank you guys so much. We hope that you guys Thank join you. us again on next Monday. Yeah, I hope to see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Have a good Thanksgiving, by the way. Yeah. Have oh, have I'll, be, I'll be back on Wednesday. So come back and see me at 730 on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chrissy's doing a Wellness Wednesday where she'll go more in depth into um, health and well-being. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. All right. Have Bye. a great evening, Bye. everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.